Live from Dancing, it's the mouthpiece with Brady Matthews. Right, ladies and gentlemen, welcome to the mouthpiece. I'm your host, Brady Matthews. Uh, I couldn't be more excited. We again have a fully loaded show for you guys. Lots to get to, lots to talk about. Uh, Jamie, all of her picks happen to hit, except for one. We'll talk about that. Uh, Jordan Love seems to be the second coming of Brett Favre. And then the Eagles taking a huge dump on the field against the Buccaneers, and we'll get to it. But first, let me introduce my all-star panel. Um, to the left of me, he was uh, Don Johnson's uh, <laughs> Stunt double in Miami Vice. He has his finger on the pulse with all things comedy in Fort Lauderdale. Guys, we have for the one, the only, Ray Sherwood, ladies and gentlemen. Thank you, guys. Whoa! Thank you. And next, you. To, <laughs> and next to Ray is, uh, we call her the comedy darling. She's the firecracker of the mouthpiece. Um, she's the bridge troll of comedy. Guys, <laughs> <laughs> good for Jamie Lee Simmons. Are we good for Jamie? Yeah, there she is. <laughs> I just crawled out of the sewer to be here. Thank you for having me. I love it. And to her left, he's the uh, he's the Cleveland he's Cleveland's darling, if you will. And after uh, What's up this with the last darlings? weekend, I don't know. I like darling. It just sounds good. It rolls off the tongue well. Uh, he uh, had a rough weekend with football. His team Ugh. actually didn't go through, but that's okay. Um, he. Keeps the show it. together, and I, I love him. Guys, get it for <laughs> Malik Hudson, everyone. Get it for Malik. Malik. Yeah. Good to see you, Malik. Uh, Malik, how do you feel after the uh, the Cleveland? It wasn't really a debacle. It was sort of just a Joe Flacco's. Was it a swan song, you think? Uh, I feel sick, but not because of the game. <laughs> oh, it's, yeah. it's flu season, and I, I feel gross. But uh, yeah. I was definitely a sickening performance by the Browns. Uh, the defense – ran a defense we didn't run all year and it decided to pull out some new tricks. Joe but Flacco looked old. It's all good. Yeah. He looked 38. Yeah. yeah. He did. <laughs> did you guys watch the game at all, Jamie? Did you watch the game? I know you're a big Brown I fan. was at a comedy festival all weekend. Oh, that's I right. have no voice. No dignity. How, how was the comedy <laughs> festival? Tell the people at friends. home. It was amazing. Yeah. Sunshine Comedy Festival in Tampa. Shout out Side Splitters and all of them. The gimmick. It was great. You were with Uncle Laser as well. I was with Uncle Laser. I was we with everybody. We love hearing about the Yep. And then, Ray, how was your weekend? Did you ever do anything fun? We went and saw Erin Elmore on Saturday. That was great. Yeah, yeah no, she, she Shout was. Shout out to Erin. Yeah, no, she's awesome. She's definitely a lot of energy. She brings it, and she's. A lot of energy. Yeah, she's basically the person you would think she is, <laughs> which yeah. she's great. She's pretty smart and uh, loves sports. And what else can you ask for in a, in a woman? You know what I mean? Are you cheating yeah. on me? I'm sorry. <laughs> <laughs> I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I'm cut. I can be the only one. What about me? <laughs> um, let's get to it because a lot to uh, a lot to get to uh, over the week. Um, let's see. So the, let's let's just go right into it. So let's go with uh, our first segment. See something, say something. All right. So let's recap. Jamie happened to crush it over the weekend with all of her picks. Can we pull Jamie's picks up by chance? We, we've all Y'all can call can. me the parlay psychic. <laughs> parlay queen. I don't think we can. The That's okay. Queen. Um, hey. But Jamie, here's what Jamie had. She had the Bills. She had the Texans. She had the Lions. And then she sent me this cute little clip. Malik, can you play that cute little clip that Jamie sent me? This is the stuff Jamie sends me that I love. What did I send you? Jared Goff. <laughs> Look at this. Oh, oh. <laughs> yeah, dude, this is how much Detroit doesn't win. What was it, 32 years? Yeah, telling him. 32 he, years. He, yeah, well, I think it was 33 years. 30, um, yeah. They haven't won a playoff, playoff game, game since Barry Sanders. Literally. Yeah, because yeah, I watched that Bye Bye Barry, and, which was great. And I lasted like 10 minutes, and I went to fall asleep. So he I called like, that out of, like, it was like out of left field. Which was crazy, because I remember you made that pick, and I go, that's not going to happen. Yep. So she got that one, no problem. Then she picked the Chiefs. And then she picked the Packers, which I don't know. I mean, I'm sure everyone has seen it by now, but Jordan Love looked like the second coming of Brett Favre, for God's sake. Phenomenal sakes. game. Phenomenal. Throwing absolute rockets. Yeah. He was. He was throwing dimes. I love that. You're so cute. <laughs> um, Malik, you have that um, of Jordan Love, him just throwing complete dimes down the field. I mean, he did. He looked like Brett Favre and Aaron Rodgers had a baby. It was incredible. And I mean, well, there was another statistic, too where Cowboys haven't lost at home. Back right. Can't find anyone. Now throws the number the seven seed by Romeo being the number two seed. Gets it off. I think that's Pressure up the middle. Love in trouble. Standing Boom. In. Right there. Just look at him. Just throwing right there. He looks like Insane. Favre 2.0. But he was chopping up. He was just chopping up Dallas's defense. Like, bad. Yeah. Down to the one. 
right through the Here's seam, too. Cowboys to leaving everybody job. open. Just kind of slings one to Dobbs. I mean, look at him, dude. He's just he's just killing him. Keep in mind, Dallas' defense, defense is phenomenal, league. too. Yeah, De Malik, Dallas has the top defense, right? Which, I mean, that is, that yeah, is they're like... they're doing great defending right now. But also, <laughs> Malik, you can stop it. Um, that's the best game he's... Defending. I think that's the best game he's played all season. Because when he played against the Vikings, he was awful. I remember they were calling for his head. Even Stephen A. Smith was saying, this guy's toast. He can't play football. He's not the guy. Time to draft a new quarterback. And now he literally looks like the best quarterback in the NFL. And maybe uh, he is in the NFL or M um, MVP running. Or is it? Can you even be in the MVP running, Malik? If, for if the regular season. season for postseason, one hundred percent. Yeah, I mean it's just incredible. The guy just was slinging it everywhere, left and right, which the Bears can't seem to figure that out. He sliced sad. up the defense. Yeah, it might be too late for the uh, MVP voting, but no, yeah, but I'm he's saying like definitely strong candidate for next year. For sure, postseason, one hundred percent. Another dumpster fire that we saw over the weekend um, was the Eagles. And it was not good for the Eagles right from the get-go. Jalen Hurts looked like he was all out of sorts. I feel like him and Dak Prescott are kind of the same quarterback. Yeah, you can say that. You know what I mean? But C.J. Stroud came in against – nope, sorry, Malik – against the Browns and torched him. C.J. Stroud, who's 20 years old, has never played in the playoffs ever, looked like he knew exactly what he was doing right out the gate. Where you have Dak Prescott, who's a veteran, who's 2-6 and six in the playoffs – not a good record. Mm -mm. And then you have Jordan Love, who comes in, who's never played ever, crushing it. So these are guys that are all fairly new that are making Dak Prescott and Jalen Hurts look like like they don't know what the hell they're doing. Yeah, and I think uh, who, who was um, – uh, Strat was on uh, Pat McAfee's show. What was it? The week before the game with uh, Cleveland. Right. And they were, like, talking about, like, yeah, we have Cleveland beating you guys. And he just stayed super calm. I was like, we'll see. We'll I remember see. that. He was super calm about it, and he was like – yeah, I'll, I'll show you what I got. And yeah. yeah, I mean, him and Jordan Love went off. Yeah, I love watching also. Um, I remember watching, uh, it was Little Wayne talking to Keyshawn Johnson. And this was before the Packers played. And uh, Keyshawn Johnson's talking about how Dallas is going to cut him up. And you just saw Little Wayne sitting there. He's like, okay. <laughs> with, his little, <laughs> with his little Wayne attitude. He's like, all right, okay. He doesn't he's even like, know what the hell they're he's talking like, about. He's like, how many interceptions <laughs> is Dak throwing in the playoffs? And Keyshawn's like, it doesn't matter. Our defense is going to take care of it. And Little Wayne was right. Uh, Dallas got absolutely smoked. But the thing that pisses me off, and it pisses me off, and then we're bringing it back to Jamie's picks, is she knows really not a whole lot about these picks. She knows football. But like Ray and Malik and I, we, we eat this stuff. We eat, live and breathe this stuff. Where... We know the picks. Dallas should have won that game. Without question. So how did the Eagles go, uh, or I'm sorry, the Packers go from, from a number seven? I mean, explain this to me. How, what, what are your takes on, on how, how the hell? It, it wasn't even a competitive game. No, it wasn't. Like, they got sliced up. But we, I, we saw that with the Eagles, too. They were yeah. out of it, like, by the second quarter. I mean, they're, they couldn't even get their run – run game going at all right it, it almost looked not it was non-existent like the Bucks defense did look phenomenal by the way but their run game was non-existent Jalen Hurts just wasn't there you could even see it and it's very hard to kind of like see how he feels because he's very same demeanor all right. the time but like even seeing him on the bench when they would cut clips to him after and he, he just didn't look with it it was just he got just, called out too by one of his wide receivers yeah, it they was, went at it. Yeah, no, no, yeah, it was the tight end, right? Tight end, yeah. Yeah, got her. Got, got her. her, yeah. Yeah, they were just frustrated. You could just see there was just a bunch of frustration coming from the, the Philly offense. Um, but the Bucks just showed up. Baker Mayfield, Baker man. Mayfield looked like uh, he – I mean, he, he looked well, like second coming, it looked, too. It looked like what Johnny Mazel should have been. Like, that, that's literally for it. For sure. <laughs> for sure. I saw that. I saw that, yeah, too. Yeah. yeah, Baker Mayfield looked like he was his old self at Oklahoma, just out there just having fun slinging the rock. And you love seeing that, but also he's got some amazing wide receivers to throw to. Mm -hmm. Evans and Godwin, those guys are no joke. Those yeah. guys are going to the Pro Bowl. Oh, for sure. I mean, he didn't really utilize Godwin <laughs> too much this season. Right. I mean, but, Mike but Evans. But the guy's a stud. Yeah, no, for phenomenal. Godwin's amazing. Yeah. But Evans is just, oof. Yeah. Yeah. He's he, awesome. He's awesome, man. Um, so I, from there, I was like, where do they go? Do you fire the head coach? Do you get a new QB? Because to put all those pieces in place takes another year of basically – yeah, another shot year. What yeah. do you do? Do you get another head coach? Malik, Fans are do? calling for it. <laughs> yeah, the, so I mean they the, are. They're they're pissed. Actually, do you have the video of them? <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. Doing the thing with the coach. Yeah, that's great. So I mean, this kind of tells you what the fans are feeling. Oh, for right? sure. <laughs> Go for it. 
Yeah, it's there we go. This was right you're after done, the game. Nick. You're done, Nick. You're Threw done. popcorn on the man. Look at him, dude. Yeah, sick. What eagle? Like, you're a grown man. You're These are Eagles field. fans, though. <laughs> I know. <laughs> this dude. is expected. So everyone was expecting the Eagles to win, right? Yeah. Yeah. And the crazy part is they had a phenomenal regular season. And in just the past few games, they've just shit you, the bed. Do you remember when I switched my choices, too? I you went Eagles, and then I Hold said... On. I said Eagles, and I was like, no, Bucks. And then I was like, ah, and then I switched it back. But something was telling me. Yeah, yeah. you were Next right. week, let's see. <laughs> well, funny you say that, because uh, we're going to go into that in two seconds. <laughs> it's getting to that, if you guys want to make some money. Um, Jason Kelsey retires for the Eagles. Do we care? I mean, it was kind of expected. He's getting up there in age. I mean, right he's, before I mean, the – He's 38. Right? Yeah, 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 so, yeah. I mean, right before the game was about to end, right when the Bucks got the ball – they panned off the camera to Jason Kelsey, and he was already crying to his uh, offensive line coach. Yeah. And he already had the tears. And right then and there, we're like, okay, yeah, this is. Was he was he crying to his agent? You think too on the phone about his endorsements? Yeah. He's about to get? <laughs> can I can I work with Pfizer? He's please? like, we still got that Campbell. <laughs> yeah. soup. We still got that Campbell soup stuff going. Yeah. <laughs> can we keep that? I love getting those. He had his documentary. He he made some money off the documentary. Uh, yep. Kelsey, yeah. Yeah. It's also so. his podcast. It's the number one podcast. Uh, I mean, out there on Apple, iTunes, or whatever right now. Uh, did you hear what they're calling Taylor Swift? Did you hear what they're calling her? No. A bitch? No, I'm just kidding. <laughs> <laughs> they call her Yoko Swift-o. <laughs> Yoko Swift-o. Yoko swift It's so messed up because they're saying that Taylor really like has ruined the dynamic of the team. Well, now like, Alex Earl, she's dating the um, that Dolphins player. There's all this drama where they're putting bracelets on, and it says "Beat Taylor Swift" because it's now it's Alex versus Taylor. So the internet's putting the two blondes versus that. each other. And no, I'm like, they, what this? What is football about? Is it about who people are dating? No, it's about dude. It's it's about the drama. I mean, the NFL is literally a soap opera with a football. It, yeah, it it's is. a business. I uh, mean, it I makes sense. At, more people are watching. Yeah, Matthew Stafford's wife, I guess, got harassed over the weekend too. Uh, after that game on Monday, was it Monday? Yeah. People are yelling um, at our kids, right? People are supposedly we're yelling at our kids, but you know who knows? I don't know if there's <laughs> video of that, but also who gives a shit. I mean, that's a part of the game, you know. What do what we get it so sensitive to the point where you can't re- yell at someone's kids? I don't know. It builds character. It, it builds character. <laughs> kids got to grow up. I got yelled at. Look at me, phenomenal. <laughs> <laughs> that's what I'm saying. Uh, Malik, look pull, at me. I'm great. You know what I love about you know what I love about uh, Eagles fans too, or just sports in general, is there are grown men. Grown men that dress like this next guy. Do you, know, do you have it, Malik? This guy, look at this guy. <laughs> Jamie. Good this for, is his life. This good, guy is a yeah. married man. He was born for this. All right, if you didn't, if, without the makeup and all this stuff, what do you think this guy does for work? Construction he, worker. Yeah. 100%. Yeah, yeah. There's nothing what, else. what if I told you that he's a lawyer? I was <laughs> going to say, what if he like, works in child care, like something completely different? He's like, hi, how by are the way, you? I don't, by the way, I don't know if he's a lawyer, so... So all you haters that love to come at me in the comments, go ahead and check it out, and then you let us know what you think. Yeah, we got to find out who that guy is. You guys look up what the Mohawk dude with the makeup does when he's driving home. Like, what? Like, (laughs) he comes home. Does his wife be like, "Oh, honey, yeah, Yeah. (laughs) they they lose." You look so good. Yeah, was it gonna? We all watched it on TV. Yeah, (laughs) like he went. So disappointed in him. He's the only one that can afford to go to the game. Doesn't bring his kid. Imagine walking. Imagine walking out of the stadium looking like that after. You like have getting to go to the sw- bathroom. <laughs> destroyed. Take like. that makeup off, don't you? Yeah. Yeah, that's like an hour long process. Or, he has to or, sit in a shower for thirty minutes and think about what he did. Listen, if you're looking like that, you better know MMA. Or you yeah. better know something. <laughs> Try not to you get better your ass have beat. Something on you, like a knife or something. He's from Philly, so that's definitely <laughs> possible. But also, I don't think Bucks fans are really giving him much shit. When he's leaving, because I don't, you don't ever hear about Bucks fans throwing batteries at Santa Claus. You know what I mean? Eagles fans do that. Yeah, Eagles fans are crazy. Eagles great. fans are crazy. They yeah. are. You know what I love so much about Philly too, is that you you you've seen this classic clip. We're gonna go off the script. Life's a break. gamble there. But no, 100%. What do you like about Philly? Nothing. Of Bill Burr getting heckled. Of Bill Burr getting heckled. Have you seen this? Malik, pull that up. Is this like the flip out? This is the best. This is the best. This is Bill Burr. This is the best. This, I just want to show this real quick just to kind of show you what Eagles fans are and who Philly people are. I, listen, I'm going to get cut up, and I don't care. It's fine. You guys cut me up. It's fine. But Eagles fans and Philly people are so passionate about their sports that the, Bill Burr calls them out about <laughs> they have a fake statue of a of boxer. Yep. Rock, um, Rocky. Rocky. Yep. That they love. 
right? That's like their claim to fame. He's like, it's a fictional person. It's their claim to fame. Right? And they just go in, and people start bo- booing Bill Burr, and he's like, I don't give a shit. He goes, I'm going to do another five minutes. He goes, oh my God, I got 10 more minutes. 15 more minutes. He's great. Well, we'll wait till he pulls it up, but I mean, wait, he'll it. pull it up. It's great. We got it. Oh, you got it? Yeah. My man. Thank you. Here we go. Look. City of brotherly love, a bunch of fucking cocks. <laughs> <laughs> They're booing, but he's starting to get cancer, which is fantastic because all your fucking heads are shaved, anyways. <laughs> 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 it, just goes, it just goes straight to insulting. We're not going to be able to use that part. <laughs> all right, you can stop it. We won't be able to use that either. <laughs> I love Bill Burr. I'll we'll probably cut all that up. That's fine. That Bill Burr's a genius, and also he's oh, my hero. If we're going into Philly, you know how hard that is? And then talk, sh- like, I don't know how he got out alive. <laughs> First off, they're definitely waiting for him outside. <laughs> oh, yeah, dude. I mean, it was a tough weekend for, for Cleveland fans as well. Or, I'm sorry, for, for Philly fans. But Cowboys fans, let's talk about it. Cowboys fans are, were not happy. Malik, can you play the first clip of this, of this Cowboys fan at home? I thought this was hilarious. I was cracking up in bed sick watching all these. America's this team. As I'm still sweating. This is so great. What? Look, at there's a baby stroller right there. <laughs> Yo. Yo, dude. <laughs> Look at this head. He rips the hat down like that's something you get from Bed Bath & Beyond. This is the biggest ick. Look at him. And then he goes to the other room. If that was my husband, I would. What if that wasn't even his place? <laughs> it's not even his TV. <laughs> you know what I mean? It's his buddy. Who invited? His friend is just like, what the hell? Who invited Daryl? Jared? <laughs> yeah. Thanks, Daryl. Yeah. I mean, how mad do you have to be at a game? Do you have to punch the TV? Like, that's... There's no... Like, I get it. If he doesn't have an immense amount of dollars on this game, there's no reason to be punched. Or in general, just that don't punch the TV. That game is all that man it has. All, he hates know. his wife. He hates his job. That totally. was everything. He's divorced. Yeah. He's like, I couldn't paint... Child I couldn't, support. I couldn't spray paint my mohawk green before yeah, the game. <laughs> He's mad he couldn't go because now he has a kid and he has to stay at home and watch. We all get it. We've been there. That's everything. I mean, that's brutal. I mean, you have to be extremely upset with your team that want to punch a $15 TV. Don't you grow out of that after middle school? (laughs) Like what? Do you think that was staged, man. though? How much you want to bet that was staged? No, no, I mean, that guy got, was, That thing went viral. And that I was, was a, like, this is funny. And I watched it 15 times. That was a passionate right hand by the guy. <laughs> he was all in. <laughs> you, you play one more time. Play it was it a one more time. Let's just watch, let's watch his technique. It, I, if we could slow it down. <laughs> just, this is great, dude. You find it. I mean, it's so the, funny because he went all in with his right hand, and I feel like if he didn't break it, he would have gone with the left hand. Oh yeah, no, he would have kept going. Anyways, he's so pissed off. Um, Speaking of the Cowboys and people being pissed off, they want the head coach fired. They don't like Mike McCarthy anymore, even though he's he's had. Oh, here we go. Oh, we missed it. Oh, got to follow up with the knee. Go. Good for him. <laughs> what about? Oh my What God. about the people watching there? Oh my God, dude. Like, they're laughing, but also like, all right, they're just sitting in silence now. Yeah, they're like, like this is awkward. I wanted to watch a show after. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, no, I have a good feeling everyone was leaving after that. Yeah, really? Oh, okay. Just have a strong yeah. feeling. Everyone's like, you know what? Let's, let's get our things and get out of here. Yeah. yeah. Do you guys want the leftovers? No, no, no. We're just going to go. It's the last time we're going to Jared's house. Yeah. <laughs> His wife is like, I told you two beers. <laughs> totally. <laughs> we had an agreement. We bring six. We finish six. That's funny. Uh, okay, so what do you think? You think, uh, you think. Malik, you think the Cowboys move on from move on from uh, Mike McCarthy? Yeah, they have to at this point. Yeah, they've shit the bed too many times. Yeah, I mean, yeah, uh, yeah. I can. Uh, then, I mean, because Mike McCarthy right now he's won twelve games the past. He's won twelve games the past two years. I think for the Cowboys, he's been in the playoffs the past two years. I know that more than that, obviously. But this year, Jerry Jones said that this last game was going to be determined on whether he stays or not. So, question for you, Ray, and Malik, and Jamie. Do the Cowboys 
fire him and they go get Bill Belichick. That's all. From... That was it. That's yeah. exactly what I was going to say. Okay. I'll right. say throw so Bill Belichick that, right? in there. What do you think? I say get Bill Belichick, man. I like it. Yeah. America's team. I don't know. He was America's coach for a while. I mean, right. I wouldn't say the last season. But, but the, thing, um, the thing with Bill Belichick, though, is he had Tom Brady. True. You know, and he had he had Gronkowski. And I had, mean, right now but he has. Do you has... think he helped molded Tom? Like he molded Tom no. Brady at all? I don't no. think so. Do you? No, I, I believe that he helped Tom Brady more mentally than physically, of course. But didn't Tom Brady like not do well in like the? Uh, he won the, the Super Bowl with no, the. No, I'm not Bay talking Buccaneers. about like before. I'm talking about before he got on the Pats when he oh. was drafted. He was like well, this no, lanky, yeah, for Michigan, he was a slow he was, runner. Yeah, for Michigan, he oh, was. Yeah. Yeah. Do you know what I mean? He, I mean, he is regardless. Like, he's very unathletic, but. I mean, Malik, do you have the picture of Tom Brady when he was. <laughs> running uh, the 40-yard combine? No, when he was, when they, because for the combine, that you have to do a before and after picture of mm -hmm. what you look like. You should see this picture of Tom Brady. He he looks like uh, the janitor from Michigan. He like, were people looks... overlooking him? He was the last pick of the of Yeah, the draft. exactly. Yeah, he looks like a troll bridge, honestly. <laughs> <laughs> a bridge troll. Oh, yeah, bridge troll. Yeah, what's yeah, a troll, troll bridge? bridge. <laughs> a troll bridge. <laughs> that's the name of it. Look at him. <laughs> yeah, yeah, a troll bridge. Look at him. Jamie. And everyone, like, goes gay for him. Well, yeah, but not back then because I'll tell you what, if that guy right there didn't come out to be the guy that he is now. He's one of the – that right there is yeah. one of the greatest of don't all time. Don't you like how they – don't you <laughs> like how – I like how they squared it off too just in case you don't know where to stand. I like that. <laughs> It's bothering me. He's not in the middle. <laughs> His posture is just very strange. But. Yeah, it's like a third grade teacher. Yeah, so, looks like yeah. Teacher. he looks like a substitute. He looks like a step, substitute. He, yeah, he looks like a stepdad. <laughs> Everyone's yeah. gonna come for us. Hey guys, Tom's Tom's like, coming That's over. the greatest man he, ever. Yeah. He looks like the, he looks like the manager at Sharper Image, like straight up. <laughs> it looks like he bags my food at Whole Foods. <laughs> <laughs> not good. So okay, what do you guys? What do you think, Malik? You think they get Bill Belichick, right? Uh, I think it's a perfect situation for him. I do too. Uh, yeah, Bill Belichick is a defensive-minded coach, and the right. Cowboys have an elite defense. They have Michael Parsons. They got all the pieces. So if they get Bill Belichick, a mind like him, they could go far with it. For but sure. They still need a quarterback, though. They do need a quarterback. Yeah. So here's my take. Do you think they can go and get Joe Burrow? I don't think he wants to be in Cincinnati anymore. And that's, that's what I heard nah. that's coming out of Cincinnati. That was my take because I think he's a perfect fit for Dallas. He's like a Troy Aikman. He's like, he's like a star back. He's, you know, he's he's athletic. He's, I don't know. The guy was awesome in college. I don't. I mean, I, do I see him leaving Cincinnati in a year or two? Yeah, I do. If they can't get their shit together, don't you think it's a perfect yeah. fit for it? Yeah, I mean, I feel like they've been plagued by injuries, but um, it, in a perfect situation, yeah, every Cowboys fan is going to create this dream scenario where they get the perfect free agent, but it doesn't work like that. Dak Cowboys fans are very delusional. Dak ain't the guy, though. Yeah, he's not. He's not definitely not the guy. He's 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 good. But you need great. You need elite. You know, for and sure. Dak just isn't there yet. Either he needs the pieces, or he needs a better system that fits him better. Hundred percent. Yeah, but Dak is also what twenty eight, twenty nine. Like he's I, yeah, he's got a lot of time left. Yeah, he's got a lot. Of, does he though? I mean, I feel like a lot of these guys, their their shelf life in terms of uh, productivity. You know, if you can't win in January, I don't care what you do for the whole rest of the season. The game wasn't even close. It wasn't even close. Like how how do you even? How would you want a guy to stick around if you're not even that good in January? Yeah. He's 30 years old. I mean, listen, he's got a good oh, sure, three more yeah. years. And, and with the new generation of quarterbacks coming up, yeah, he doesn't yeah. have too I don't many know. options here. I see Dallas making some moves here fast because their time, their window is closing, and also their defense is elite. Their defense is elite. So you've got to go find that quarterback. I mean, everything else is, is great. C.D. Lamb is a stud. Now he just needs that, he needs that guy to throw the ball to him. Or hear me out. <clears throat> what if Mike Vrabel? Mike Rabel. Totally. Yeah. Love Mike Rabel. Yeah. yeah. Another he, defensive guy. Another defensive guy yep. from the Patriots. Correct. Totally. Correct. Yeah. I think those two, but also don't leave out Jim Harbaugh. Yeah. Don't leave out Nick Saban. And of course, don't get me started with the Bears. Because yeah. the Bears <laughs> decided Go to Bears. keep the Bears, Brady. <laughs> the Bears decided to keep their head coach, who is garbage. <laughs> It's, I'm not going to talk about it. I promise I wasn't going to get upset about it. A tear drip. They're trips garbage. Down. The, the Bears, I'm telling you, man, it's just such a dumpster fire of an organization. You have probably the best coaching class uh, of any year in the past decade, and you decide, no, nah, we're going to keep a guy named Matt Eberflus, who, <laughs> who never even coached once. He's only a, coached the Colts before this. I'm moving on. I can't. I'm like, do you need a nap? No. <laughs> do you need a hug? No, dude. I need more Tylenol. You're going to end up like that guy punching the TV right now. I need more Tylenol. Seriously, I might punch my computer. All right, moving on. So we have so we have this week, we have the divisional playoffs, which I'm excited about. 
Um, Jamie, let's see your picks because because last week let's you were on go, fire. Let's go, Jamie. <laughs> last week you were on fire. Um, Malik, I don't know if you can pull up the divisional round game <laughs> graphic, but if not, I got it right here. I got it. Oh, you got it. Yep. Okay. Tune in. Tune in. Jamie, let's see what you let's see what you got here. I don't know if you can see, see what you're feeling yeah, here, Jamie. Yeah. Let's Confucius says. <laughs> Um, you got Texans Ravens. Yeah, what do you got, Jamie? Texas Ravens. What do you got? She's closed her eyes, by the way. Um, <laughs> Texas. Texans. Wow. I like that. She's even. Wow. That's perfect. What? That's, All right. That's one of the. You know what? Hey, let her that, go. That, that is by far Malik, that happens Malik, one of the biggest. As, they, as the kids say, let her go. Yeah, yeah I'm gonna let her go. Let her go. I love it. I literally. Yeah, I don't I love know. It. I don't Jamie. think it happened in the playoffs. No, I actually like this because I, I like that too. Yeah. Okay. Go ahead. Um, Packers 49ers. Yeah, go ahead, Jamie. Um, 49ers. All right, that's fine. That's, that's about yeah, seems that's, to be the, the consensual good. pick. Buccaneers, Lions. Yeah, what do you got? <laughs> um, the Bucks. Hmm. Okay. Okay. And then Chiefs. Why are you just saying okay? Now I'm like nervous. Because <laughs> we wouldn't pick. We wouldn't pick the Bucks. Yeah. Really? No. But that's, no, that's the reason why we're asking no, you. No, no, but hey, this is part of the This play. is why we're asking you. We all ate shit. Yeah, you you didn't. Okay. No, no, you picked the Bucks. I mean, I could see it. <laughs> okay. All right, what do we got? Last one, Malik. What's the last one? Chiefs Bills. Chiefs Bills. The Bills. It's going to be a good game. Yeah. Okay. You put, like those, you put those down, right? Yeah, let's just go from here. What do you have? Then from Texans. Wait. So you have Texans versus the Bills. Who are you taking? Wait, no, we get Ravens still. We're the Ravens. Yeah, no, she, for her. Oh, she, oh sorry, yeah. Yeah, she picked the Texans. Too much NyQuil. All right. <laughs> so you got Texans, Bills. Who are you taking from there? Who are you taking, Jamie? Me? Wait, what is? what am I doing? Texans, Bills. Texans or Bills. Who are you taking? Oh, Texans or Bills? Yeah, Texans or Bills. Texans versus the Bills. Are you just going through the entire... Yeah, I want to just do the whole thing. Oh, all right. Oh. Because now I'm curious. Just believe Um, in yourself. I don't know. Texans? Texans going to the AFC? Damn. Oh, wait. No, wait. They're going to the... Malik. Malik. I'm I'm doing like a... I pick a side of my body, and one side is one team and the other one, and I pick which I lean towards. Right. Are you a clairvoyant? That sounds so weird. Are you a clairvoyant? What's happening? Yeah. Nice. Okay. Sometimes. Just tuned in. I believe you. All right, and then you have 49ers, Bucks. Who do you got? 49ers or Bucks? Um, the 49ers. Okay. All right. All right, we're gonna leave it. We're gonna leave it that. We're gonna leave it that. All the 49ers right, Malik. were a solid. Malik, what do you got? Hit me. Uh, I'm taking. I'm taking the Ravens. I mean, that's. I feel like that's a gimme, but I, you can't doubt the Texans after. No, you can't. No, nah, after that. Uh, I like. I like Jordan Love, but I'm gonna say 49ers again. I feel like it's pretty obvious. Those two teams are very dominant. All right. Uh, I gotta go with Detroit, working class team, right. working class city. Of course. Blue collar city, all of that. So Jeff Detroit Goff. all the way. Jeff I'm Goff. rooting for Detroit through through the rest of it. That's my yeah. that's my Super Bowl favorite. What? Yeah, that's yeah. No way. Yeah, I want Detroit to win it all. Wait, who do you have with um with the uh, the Bills and and. Uh... Bills and Chiefs. Yeah, uh, I think Josh Allen is finally going to get his uh, win against uh, Pat Mahomes in the playoffs. It's in Buffalo too for the first time. The last few games have been in Kansas City, so it's, I want to see what's about to happen with that. And who do you have? Ravens, Bills. What do you got? Uh, Ravens over Bills. Uh, I'm going with the Bills. Wow. Okay. Uh, and then who do you have? 49ers, Detroit. Who you got? Uh, Detroit. Oh yeah, you got Detroit, Detroit winning it all. Okay, we'll leave it at that because we're going to do a whole Super Bowl thing and, and uh, we're going to leave it at that for right now. And then, Ray, where are you at? Um, you got, you okay. know what? Bill's I, Chiefs, who you got? I, well, for, for um, the Texans, or do you want to start with the Bill's Chiefs? Yeah. I'm going to – my heart wants to say the Bills, but I'm going to say Mahomes is going to upset Josh Allen in Buffalo. The only reason why is because he's, oh, he, he's, game, he's game day ready. Playoffs are coming, defending Super Bowl champs. Um, something with the refs too, with Mahomes. There's just something about it. So he'll he'll get away, and I think it's going to be a great game. Chiefs will win. Okay. And then we have uh, we have Niners Green Bay. Uh, I'm going to go Niners. Okay. Uh, Green Bay performed phenomenally, but Niners are just on another level. Mm-hmm. Were they though when they played against the Eagles? Moving on. Yeah, uh, yeah, true, true. Uh, or but that's not true. They kicked their ass. I guess it was the, no, um, the Ravens. That's what I'm talking ass. about. Yeah. Yes. Uh, all right, and then we have um, who do you got? Texans. Wait, you were just, Texans Ravens. 
oh, man. You know what's funny? We all want to say the Ravens, but I think with Jamie's pick. Are you trusting me? <laughs> <laughs> hold no, on, but hold here's up. is that ready? funny I'm though? No, like... that's how it goes though. But that's ready, how it starts. But ready, there's yep. always been a conflict with the Ravens in the playoffs. They've always shit the bed. Right. So it's now you're going against the Texans have the momentum. Stroud is on fire. The Ravens are having a bye week. You know, what you know, how are they gonna come off the bye week? Are they feeling refreshed or Great kind point. of relaxed while the Texans are coming in red hot? You Great know, point. <sighs> I'm going to say the Texans, too. You wow. got me. That's a good point. I got me, Jamie. Let's, let's <laughs> it's, not a, go. it's not a bad pick. Texans' defense is uh, they're crazy good, but Baltimore's cr- defense is crazy good. You got Roquan <sighs> Smith, but also over the Texans, you got Will Anderson, who is a phenomenal football player that they just drafted at number two. Mm-hmm. So it could go both ways. And it all depends, too, you know, how, how the Texans' defense is going to handle – you know the high-powered offense of the Ravens and Lamar Jackson. It's going to be very interesting. Right. But I'm going to I'm going to say it's an all going to be an offensive game. I think it's going to be very high scoring, and I think the Texas is going to pull it off. Wow. Okay. What's the last game we got here? What is it? What is it? The uh, Bucks and Lions. Bucks and Lions. Yeah, I I, I got to agree with the, uh, Malik here. I I really want to see the Lions pull through. Okay. You know I I love the Bucks. Baker has a great story, and uh, but. There's just something about the lines now. We're just like it's just happy, you know. Even just seeing the coach too, just like really happy and like almost crying. Like it was just a nice, like you know, like good for them, you know. And it would be cool to see them make it to the Super Bowl. Now winning the Super Bowl, uh, we'll see. All right, who do you got? Chiefs, uh, Chiefs, Texans. Yeah. Uh, ooh, I'm gonna say the Chiefs. Okay. It's Mahomes. Okay. And the reason why I'm doing this is you'll see what I do for next week. It's going to yeah. be stick around. It's interesting. All right. Um, and then we have Niners, Lions. Niners. I want to see the Lions go all the way, but I got the Niners. All right. So we got all the picks. We got Texans, 49ers, Jamie. We got Detroit and Bills, Malik. And then we got Chiefs, Niners for Ray. All right. When we go to lunch, you're helping me set up my hard rock. Thing. Yeah, we'll set and up I'm your hard rock. I'm putting money down. <laughs> I'm putting money down. Moving on. We're not going to talk about the Chicago Bears, even though I want to, even though Justin Fields, I think, is going to get traded to Atlanta for Atlanta's number eight pick and their 2025 first round pick, but mm. let's not talk about it. That's just you'll punch your laptop. putting it out there that I think the Bears are going to draft Caleb Williams, but we'll talk about that closer to the draft. I also hate the Bears right now, so let's move on. Um, all right, UFC guy, my guy Ray. We got Sean Strickland this weekend. This is the excited. fight I was actually looking forward to. The fight last weekend, Jamie's boyfriend that got beat up. Um, <laughs> oh, no. <laughs> sorry. Uh, I don't. We, you know, I still is, love you. It man. is. We love. No, he's the man. It is what it is. Jamie called me and she's like, "That was not good." And I go, "It was not good." No. But that's okay. <clears throat> that's why you fight the UFC. I can't watch fights because I cry. Yeah, I know baby. a lot of ex UFC fighters are. I was like, "Do you? Are you glad that you did that?" And they're like, "No." You know what? It's funny because when you do talk, I, I've talked to a lot of a um, lot of very successful, uh, famous fighters, and they've said too. They go, "Would you do this in another life?" And I'm not gonna lie, the majority of them said no. They yeah. said no. They would rather do another career. It's just, you know, and I think Nate Diaz said a said a part, you know, said a good part in terms of just kind of how he overall looks at the sport and said, you know, I'd rather be doing something else, but I make money and I'm good at fighting. So yeah, I don't know, man. It's just like to get punched in the face so violently like they do is, I don't even know. Punched, like, and, kicked, and yeah, kneed, but then also don't choked. you get, don't you get like I'm just curious and I mean. Like, I know hockey's a violent sport, too. NFL's a violent sport. But in the UFC, you're using just your fists or in, well, in your feet. So well, yeah, you're... knees. Uh, it's everything. You know, of course, illegal strikes, no eye gouging, and, you know, fucking shots to the balls. But right. um, for the most part, it's... They're that... like, break my face, but don't touch the balls. Yeah. <laughs> That's, so funny. That's so true, though. Yeah, why is, why is face hey, all we're good? still guys. But balls here. are yeah, off yeah, limits. Yeah. But why should balls not be off limits? That's the first thing I'm yeah. going for if yeah, I'm getting sh- in a fight. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know if they're doing that, Jamie. I know. That's a little bit of a different kind of fighting, I think. I'd scare him away. <laughs> just, uh, just my take on it. Um, um, but I guess Sean Strickland, uh, you know, he has his banter back and forth with um, the guy. The fighting, yeah, Dr- uh, Drake is stupid. Yeah. Um, That's a confusing last name. <laughs> Say that five times yeah, fast. Yeah, can't. <laughs> um, but so he's fighting, fighting him this weekend. So they got into it. And here's what Strickland had to say about the whole thing. Actually, he sent him a message. And I was like, dude, listen, Dragus, we're going to go try to murder each other. But if you bring that sh- up again... About his family. I yes, correct. Dad, you. Yeah, I'm going to get a press conference weigh in. You bring that, like, I just told Dragon. So you Dragus, know he's going to bring it up. No, no, he was cool about it. Cool about it. He was like, he was cool. But I mean, again, I'm not telling you I don't want to fight you, Dragus. I'm not saying you're not a good fighter. 
I'm just saying that that's a line that when crossed, it, it, it transcends fighting to like, if I have, it's, it's yeah. a, like, I'm going to, if I go to Canada and you bring that up, well, guess what? I'm going to go to jail. They're going to deport me. And the ne we, we spent eight weeks of training doing for no reason. And he's 100% serious about that. That yeah, was not a joke. I have, but here's the thing. You, but you can jump into the stands and try to fight me in front of a bunch of people. But if I talk about your upbringing, you're going to try to stab me? Bring it on, bro. He, he's he's 100 percent serious about that. I know he's, he's, he's a, I know he is. He's a legitimate psychopath. Yeah, Jamie, you've seen shows on like Cold Case and stuff like that because I know girls love that shit, like Cold <gasps> Case and stuff like that, where they talk about how like you're like yeah we just brought him into the room and then you know I just stabbed him a couple times and then <laughs> <laughs> right and they're like and then we just were like we were watching like you know Full House after that. <laughs> like the the he just like sits cancer. down as a bowl of cereal yeah. after. <laughs> anyway. <laughs> Yeah, I mean, that's what happens. That's how psychopaths talk. I would not mess with Sean Strickland. The way that he any, says it so calmly is what... He's not, like, saying it with bravado. No, it, and, he, like, he's not like, oh, I'm going to do this. He's just like, yeah, like I Connor will McGregor stab would. you. And then that's when you're like, oh, I think that guy's going to stab me. Yeah, and he didn't think that that was going to be clipped either. That was just off the rip of being like, hey, by the way, I sent him a message prior. If he brought that shit up, I'm going to stab him. Yeah, so. Isn't that illegal? Yeah, he doesn't yeah. care. Uh, yeah, <laughs> that, like, yeah. you can get in trouble for... <laughs> Listen, the, the places that these guys thrive is the octagon and jail. I was going to say, at the end Sorry, of the day, prison. at the end of the day, fighting and combat sports in general, you know, they're not here to, you know, you know, talk or, you know, I mean, Be of course, a lot citizens. of it's hyped up and it's prize fighting, but at the end of the day, you're going in there and fist fighting. Yes. There's nothing else more, you know, I, I want to say... Animalistic. Yeah, and you're kicking uh, dudes in the head and, like, you know, like... Also, you're getting like head contusions. It's primitive. But you're still fighting. Yeah, exactly. It's primitive. You're getting in there and you're fighting, and there's no other way you could possibly like. You know what I mean? It would be different if like you know I'll stab you, and then we're going playing shooting hoops. It's like no, we're gonna go in there and actually try to kill each other. Yep. You know, a lot of the people live by the sword, die by the sword, and they go in there and they physically lay it out, lay it all out there, For and sure. it's very. Uh, it's very interesting to hear his perspective because he's one of the first to actually have a psychopath mentality where it's like, no, I actually want to kill you outside of the ring as yeah, well. That's the first time I so. think I've, <clears throat> like, that's the first time I've heard a UFC fighter actually kind of talk um, calmly and be like, no, 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 I'm serious. Like, I'm gonna stab, I'm gonna stab you, but yeah. whatever. Um, speaking of getting stabbed, um, <laughs> Indianapolis built a full size basketball court. Not built. I think I think it's might. I don't think it's permanent, but. I just think this is funny on See Something, Say Something. Obviously, I saw this, and I got to talk about it because building a full-size basketball court at a terminal, it can only can only be disastrous, I think. Malik, Sounds like you, a good time. Let's, listen, I just want your guys' input on this. Uh, can you pull up the little clip that I sent you? This is going to be bad on our rules. <laughs> hey. Nice. And it's oh, also for the All-Star Weekend. Wait, people can just like walk over it? You yeah, they can like, walk over, grab a ball, and shoot, yeah. Dunk on an old lady going to a different terminal? It would just <laughs> piss me off somebody while I'm trying to shoot and like play ball with people and like yeah. kids go by. I would lose my shit. But do you know Do you know the amount of grown men they're about to tear their ACLs? You yeah. know what I'm saying? The amount of... On the way to their business trip. Can you imagine? <laughs> You're like, usually people are like, I got time to go grab a cocktail where some guys are like, I got time to put up a couple shots. Yeah, for sure. You know what I mean? I mean, that's where I'll be at. I'd be like, you want to just get a quick game of one-on-one -on -one in, right? And then you're there for like 45 minutes all sweaty. Yeah. Like you're a kid in recess heading back into class. Like, or, what is TSA going to say about that? <laughs> They're going in line just sweating profusely. Yeah. yeah. I'm here for the flight. Yeah, this guy's not <laughs> suspicious at all. Like, <laughs> yeah. like what, what the are, hell? Yeah, you're not, here to, yeah. you're not here to get out of any yeah. flight. Please, I'm in a rush. Yeah. I got to get in. <laughs> yeah. My boys Please are in there. Please believe me. I was, I was doing two on two. <laughs> <laughs> What's in your bag, buddy? Get on the ground. <laughs> Why are you so sweaty? Yeah. You, you saw the game? Yeah, you saw the game. <laughs> <laughs> That's funny. I was just like, there's so many grown men. I'm like, dude, don't bring your children around that thing because some guys are gonna get fist fights. It's gonna be a whole thing. <laughs> it's gonna For take. Real. It. It's gonna end up like the coach. The Jamie, college. what do you think about if you're dating a guy and he's like, uh, do you care if I go play a quick five on five? I wouldn't care. You'd love that. That's, that's yeah. such a, see, you're so good like that. Yeah. Why would I care? That's sweet. I'd oh, like to it? watch him get all sweaty and then be like. What bathroom? are they going to build next? <laughs> <laughs> what do you think they're going to build next? An octagon? <laughs> no, people, to do a pickleball? Sure. Yeah, like right? People fist fighting in the airport? <laughs> pickleball is not a bad idea, actually. That's actually a pretty good idea. <laughs> What's another one? Ice skating rink? No, that's too much. That would be cool. Yeah. Like a mini one. Like a little circle. I don't know. 
So stupid. Uh. <laughs> All right, whatever. I'm just thinking about where it's I'm going to find my gym crush. Ice skating rink for you guys, b-ball court for me. No, I think that's smart. Yeah. yeah Have it all I guess you're right. Yeah. All put together. Rollerblading. That'd be funny. I saw this over the weekend too. Um I think I think I'm not a big Lakers fan. And also we Malik and I talked about the in-season tournament. <laughs> the NBA wants the Lakers to be so relevant and so good. It's it's blatantly obvious it is blatantly obvious because when they played against the um raptors i think a week ago or whatever the coach let you know about how rigged not rigged but how the lakers get such special treatment over the over the raptors can you play the coach one also let me preface the coach he's adorable you're gonna want to give him a hug after this and you'll see why no yeah (laughs) thank you doug Thank you, Doug. That's, that's, that's outrageous. What happened tonight? What this happened is tonight? completely BS. This is shame. Shame for the this referees. Shame. shame for the league to allow this. 23 free throws for them, and we get two free throws in in the fourth quarter. <laughs> so good. Like, how Malik. to play the game. He's not wrong, though. I, I Here, you pause real quick. Uh, but it's hard to... And listen, I'm not going after uh, people that... Uh, people that have accents, but it's hard to take a guy serious when he sounds like he also doubles as an Uber driver, right? I'm not. <laughs> or not a Russian shit. mob. I yeah, don't know. Or, or <laughs> yeah, I thought that guy was going to like yeah. call his, my uncle. Somebody's uncle dying. Or something. Yeah. <laughs> but, he's, <laughs> but he's not wrong because the Lakers got so many free throws at the fourth quarter alone that some teams don't even get in a whole game. So with that, uh, I digress, but that's been uh, see something, say something. Moving on to uh, another segment that I love, um, Trash Talking Trash, where, Jamie, uh, I want to get your insight on something that I saw uh, over the weekend. Eric Spolstra, he's the coach for the Miami Heat. Um, him and his wife just got a divorce, okay? Uh, Ray, you heard about this. Yep. Yeah. Yep. Molly, can you play the little segment for us, pretty please, for Props. Jamie, so we can get some context on this biatch? Props to the Miami Heat for backing him. Oh, for sure. For sure. I think it's a class I think it's a class A move. Here we go. This guy breaks it down. Dude's rock. So this is oh, I already know about this. Go him. Miami Heat and this is his now ex-wife. She seems like a nice lady. Unfortunately, yeah. these two finalized their divorce Most sometime that dress in like November, that. and it was amicable. But two days ago, the Miami Heat announced the they're signing Eric Spolstra to an eight year one hundred and twenty million dollar contract that broke records across the NBA. Which means that Eric Spolstra in the front office of the Miami Heat waited until his divorce was finalized to give him $120 million to make sure his ex-wife won't touch a cent of that money. And after this was announced, obviously, the ex-wife is getting attacked on social media saying she fumbled the bag. Listen, I'm going to stay out of it. I'm just going to let you guys read it. So here you go. Pause if you want to read this one. And then there's this one where someone said she fumbled the bag, so she posted on her story an MLA formatted essay about women and the divorce and stuff like that. All right. If my boys aren't like Andy Ellisberg and Mickey Harrison, I don't want it. They look like sh- <laughs> they, they, yeah, they look like shady guys, but actually they're really good dudes. So they gave Eric Spolstra a huge grip of cash, but this was only after his divorce was finalized. So, Jamie, coming from a female's perspective, is that is that a, an F you move to her or is that an A1 move for him? You're getting divorced. It's not her money. Right. Like, he worked for that. Right. She's probably got enough in the time that they were dating. Yeah. 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 It sucks to suck, but I yeah. mean, I don't know why they're getting divorced. That dude could be an asshole, but and or she could have been. But at the end of the day, if I work hard for what I'm going to do, I don't want anyone taking that from me. I understand like making sure somebody's set and okay. I'm pretty sure but she's set. You don't okay. need a lot of 130 million dollars to to be set. You know, I mean, like. What about alimony? Doesn't she get things like that after a divorce anyway? She's, so. she's definitely yeah. Getting she's going to be taken care, care of. Yeah. 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 Cry yeah. me a river. Okay. Yeah. I mean, I appreciate I appreciate that from a female's perspective, of course, right? I mean, I don't, I don't know. Just listen. As long as she's taken care of, good for her. That's yep. great. All right. Last segment of uh, the mouthpiece. We have the good, the bad, and do we really care? Okay. Um, the good that I saw was Hulk Hogan over the weekend saving someone's life. We have that little clip for us. <laughs> <laughs> So great. good. This is this is like it's, it's, I don't, you can't even you know, make this stuff up. It, this, this is, is so movie. bizarre with it's, this with an NWO shirt. On. <laughs> you know what I love is that. Give me your hand, hand brother. brother. Yeah, 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 yeah,
are you okay? Yeah. And he's like, what? And he's like, give me your hand, brother. brother. <laughs> I would have like, thought I died and went to heaven. The guy looks at him and he's like, right? hell yeah, brother. They touch hands. Then. <laughs> What'd you say, Malik? But, I would have thought I died and went to heaven. For sure. <laughs> like, for sure. Means, Hulk Hogan just pumped. saving your life? Yeah. I, yeah, I can't think of anything better except maybe playing one-on-one with Jordan at the Indy Airport. You or, know what I mean? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, what at the airport? What else do you want? That sounds like <laughs> or like in the background, I am a real yeah, oh, American. Sure. Just like, take my hand, brother. Yeah. I got you. <laughs> he's got the theme music on already. Yeah, he's, he's hits the theme song, gets out of his car, and saves the guy. <laughs> <laughs> that's an I SNL. got this ready for this moment. <laughs> that's waiting an, for this. By the way, that's an SNL sketch. Even though if they oh, did funny stuff. He has stuff. to rip his shirt off after he saves him, too. He's just like, <laughs> Totally. Can you imagine? He's like, no, I just need to get out of the car. Yeah. Just, <laughs> Can you just help me out of the car? And it turns like, into a full scene. Yeah, he goes like this. <laughs> he just, yeah, he goes, <laughs> What's I got that? you, brother. <laughs> One more time, brother. <laughs> That's too funny. Man, good for the Hulk. He's always saving lives and ripping his shirt off. Uh, the I next one it. I thought was great was uh, Jamie sent this. It's called Life Hack with Jamie. I think every guy every guy that's in a supportive relationship, um, I think this is vital. And uh, Jamie sent this to me, and I totally agree with the clip. And they all wanted to go to dinner tonight, and I said I wasn't going to go unless she was invited to. Right. Because if we all went to dinner and she didn't get invited, her yeah. feelings would be so hurt. Yeah, you don't want that to happen. <laughs> <laughs> no way. Uh, no. I mean, that's so sweet. Right? If you're at your anniversary dinner, and she's like, all right, I guess. It's fine. It's fine. I love that. It's that's, just the, yeah. That is so adorable. Sure. But I mean, that's a that's that's a, that's how you save a, re- a marriage. You know what I mean? For sure. Or you get Hulk Hogan to save you out of a, a yeah a, 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 out of the car. What if Hulk comes over? He's like, "Heard you're going through a tough time, brother." brother. Yeah. <laughs> Hulk's me. just saving everything. Yeah, Hulk point. is retired from wrestling, and now he's a marriage counselor. <laughs> Listen here, brother. You gotta leave. <laughs> yeah, dude. it's not working out anymore, Br- brother. <laughs> well, uh, last clip of uh, last clip of the day um, for do we really care? Um, oh, no, actually, I skipped over. I'm sorry. Here's my bad. Here's the bad. Um, Ch- Charles Barkley has a hard time articulating on camera, uh-huh. which is fine. I get it, too. I'm some, like, somehow, like, chucking away. Uh, but this Sometimes is Sometimes we just funny. have a little anxiety. Yeah, that's fine, too. Um, Chuck had a hard time reading up the teleprompter, and I think this is just straight good comedy for the mouthpiece. Um, hit it. You have to download the FanDuel app, a number one... Don't forget to that <laughs> America's number one app, FanDuel. That's not right. I know how to read. I'm just nervous. But you know. <laughs> Don't forget to there. Shaq. Quit, man. Oh, that was too much. Shaq. Like improvise. Shaq could do I'm any better. <laughs> America's number one app, I love FanDuel. Shaq. Forcebook today. Forcebook? <laughs> That's the Auburn University education. <laughs> Come to Auburn. Jack, by the way, is extremely fired. smart. Did you know that? No, yeah, yeah. He has a doctor degree, doesn't he? Or is that honor? Here, pa- Shaq, do you know the do you know Shaq owns like a lot of like predominant businesses? He owns oh, a chain Shaq's of burger incredible. kings, yeah. Did you know he, he owns Forever Twenty One? Owns yeah. it. Yeah. That's his thing. What a genius. Yeah. I mean, you think Shaq's this. like just this big time <laughs> basketball player guy that's just like, just, you know, shoots hoops and goes on TNT. No, he's actually extremely intelligent. He does everything. Yeah. Uh, speaking of the bad, besides Charles Barkley, but that's more funny. Um, the Chicago Bulls had their ring of honor, and I'm a diehard Bulls fan, as you know. I mean, we gave it away. <laughs> uh, but I thought this was kind of sad because Michael Jordan didn't show up, Scottie Pippen didn't show up, and Dennis Rodden didn't show up, and those guys are like, the most pivotal pieces to the Bulls six championships with their last three. But um, I thought this was sad because Jerry Krause is is dead. He was the GM of the Bulls that put them all together. But also Jerry Krause is the one that dismantled the Bulls when they could have probably won one more championship. Don't you think Malik? Oh yeah. For sure. They have one more in the, in the tank. I think, I, I think, but Jerry Krause cut it all up. So here's how the fans reacted when they, uh, introduced Jerry Krause into the rafters. This is his wife, wow. by the way. That's not Thank her. Thank you, TikTok. <laughs> oh, TikTok? Oh, here we go. NBA champion, two-time NBA executive of the year, represented by his wife, Thelma, basketball Hall of Famer and former Bulls general manager, Jerry Krause. <laughs> Why music. does him and his wife look alike? Yeah. They do. I'm a little upset right now. Yep. 
Nationwide is on your side. Bulls Nation. Yeah, we, get that. I mean, we just Plug had in. a remarkable ceremony bringing back the legends. Anyways, and pop, pop. I'm telling uh, Jamie, what do you think? Do you think that was too much for them to, to, to boo her because he ripped up the team too early and now it's her fault or what? <laughs> she has no she idea. She was just like a harmless old lady. But you know what? That Sports fans don't give a shit. No, about they don't. That. No. Bulls fans especially because we've been hungry for a championship since 98. So I get it. You know what? It's uh, not nice, but part It's of not the game. nice, but you know what? So is not winning. Yeah. So, you know, we don't like that. so is losing all the money that I just bet. <laughs> yeah. So boo her. For sure. Uh, speaking of sad things, I think Actually, this is really funny. This is not sad. We're gonna end. We're gonna end the uh, the good, the bad. And do we really care? On a high note, under the do we really care? Here's how I think. Um, if you're gonna break up with someone, Jamie, right, or Ray, Malik, um, I think this is the way to do it in 2024 going forward. It's time <laughs> for Kaylee to move on. <laughs> I love it. And Bruce Buffer, man, out of all people. Oh phenomenal. Oh, my God. Oh, my God. It's fantastic. Can you imagine sending that to someone and be like, it's not you, it's me. But <laughs> See, I, what I would do is I would get my man's, like, favorite favorite sports player or something to do a cameo like that. Like, his somebody he idolizes. Oh, that's, that's, being like, yeah. just so, so you up. know, JV's great, but she's moving on, and that would – that would be my final blow. And then so when they gonna, check social media, they're like, you're blocked on everything. You're like, what the hell? Where'd you go? <laughs> yeah, we blocked like everything. My, my ex loves LeBron. I would just be like, LeBron James, do this cameo. I'll pay five. I'll pay as much as it costs just to have that. that moment, you know? Well, that's been, uh, I mean, that's just the best way to break up, I think, you know, going forward. If you don't want to deal with the whole part of breaking up, which breaking up sucks. Uh, but with that said, <laughs> it does. And trust me, I, we all know. Um, <laughs> tear rolls down. That's been our show. Uh, I had a great time, guys. What are you looking forward to this weekend? Anything, anything exciting besides all the football divisional playoff games? Yeah, I'm looking forward to UFC uh, uh, 297. We'll see. Uh, I think it's going to be a great fight between Sean Strickland and Drake Estu. Oh, for sure. um, I think it's going to be a way more competitive fight than most people are going to think. So uh, I'm excited for that. I also have two of my buddies, Mark Andre Barriott fighting and Garrett Armfield, G Money. So uh, very excited for both those fights. Nice. And then give people your socials as always, Ray. Uh, Ray Sherwood won. You guys can follow me there. Okay. Jamie, what are you looking forward to this weekend? Um, I have one of my best friend's birthdays this weekend. Wow. And, uh, yeah, we're going to... No comedy shows? Oh, I do have some comedy shows, too, I think. Okay. I'm, I'm trying to remember where. I got a comedy show. This doesn't come out tonight. I got a comedy show tonight at the Improv. Yeah, I know. I don't know. What am I looking forward to? Sleep. Nice. I was a degenerate this weekend, and, no and uh, I need to recover. And you're going to gamble Oh, and I'm weekend. gambling, so we'll see. Oh, yeah. She's a big better now, and most of her picks <laughs> hit. So if you guys want to see who... Jamie's gambling on her picks will be out this Saturday. Yeah, I gave up vaping, they will be out and now Saturday. now you're it's sports betting. Yeah, now yeah. you're consulting. Uh, Malik, what are you <laughs> looking forward for to this there. weekend? I mean, <clears throat> I mean, nothing outside of uh, the playoffs. I mean, I'm looking forward to getting some rest. I mean, flu season is beating everybody's behind right now, so hopefully I get some rest and catch up on some Z's. Trust me, I'll be straight. I sweat through the whole show, but you know, we pulled through and we had a good time. Uh, what am I looking forward to? I'm going to be at TK's Comedy Club all weekend. Two shows Friday, two shows Saturday, one show Sunday. Uh, come out, see some live comedy. I've got all new material, mostly about breaking up. Um, <laughs> I'm bringing Bruce Buffer with me. Just joking. Yeah. <laughs> he um, opens if you, up. If you guys have liked what you've seen, please subscribe right here or go to Valuetainment Sports and click on the mouthpiece where we have all new reels, all new shorts. Me, Jamie, Adam, or Adam, me, Jamie, Ray, and Malik. Uh, um, like an Adam. So, yeah, please subscribe. <laughs> tell your friends. And, uh, again, I've been your host, Brady Matthews. This has been The Mouthpiece. And you guys remember to check us out and chew on this. Take care. <laughs>